we have a fairly common or garden optimization problem. So the very first thing we need to do is change the English into maths. We look for words like maximize and that will tell us what we're optimizing and things for what we should charge for example which will tell us the variables that we'll be using. Any other equalities or inequalities that we have are going to be constraints and have a quick check for any other numbers that come up. Probably also going to be a constraint. So we can see that I'm optimizing my revenue. My answer is going to be price. And I have two constraints from the question and one from common sense. So I put that all together and I get the maths version of what I'm actually trying to do. I'm trying to maximize revenue subject to the constraints that I found. The next thing that I need to do is eliminate one of the variables from the problem because at the moment we've got both price and quantity. So a good idea is to pick a constraint which links both variables. In this case I'm going to use p equals 500,000 over q to the 3 over 2 and I replace p with that wherever I see it in the revenue and also in the p constraint. Notice that in this case, this actually doesn't give me another constraint because it's automatically satisfied when Q is greater than 5,000. Now I take my new versions and I rewrite the maths version so that it only has one variable. So finally, I'm going to maximize R, which is a function of Q, subject to a constraint on Q. So now I actually get down to solving the optimization problem. I'm going to need the derivative, and then I find whichever candidates I have for extrema. Remember, derivative equals zero, derivative undefined, and the endpoints. Next, I use those values to find the maximum minima. In this case, my first derivative is always negative, i.e. I, my function is decreasing. So 5,000 is my maximum. It's a good idea to do a reality check. At the moment, I found that the quantity of 5,000 maximizes revenue, but if I check have I answered the question, I'll see that no, no I haven't. I actually needed to give a price. But I have an equation that links price and quantity, so I can just give my answer p is equal to 500,000 over 5,000 to the two-thirds. Quick check, does my answer satisfy the constraints, and does it satisfy common sense? Yes. All good. And we're done.